Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wang. I'm doing a psychic tarot reading for you, tuning into the day's energies, seeing what divine messages of guidance come through for you. This is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. If you'd like a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. It takes you right to my book online page. All right, the overall energy of your reading is the wheel. Fortune, good karma, good luck. Feels like you're, um, you've risen above something. You've taken conscious control over your wheel, over your fate. Feels like you're understanding how how to navigate this space that we're in this uh game called earth <laughs> there's um a freedom that's coming through with this a freedom to navigate it feels like um you might have lost a taste for life on some level or lost the taste for romance or love while you've been focusing on um, taking control of your life. Feels like love has taken a, a back seat, but it's changing. It looks like you're warming up to the idea of uh, love. If it's the right person, if it's the right situation, feels like there's a challenge right now around this or that thinking. Feels like there's a, a third opportunity available to you, but you're you're kind you're in your head. Two of Swords has shown up twice already in this reading. There's a lot of confusion. Um, so you've got the Wheel of Fortune, but there's, there's confusion. So it feels like I'm feeling lucky. I'm feeling like things are going my way. But there's something in the environment that's confusing. Wow, holy cow. Um, I can see why this is very confusing energy because it feels like there's dreams coming true. <laughs> Maybe it, it, it feels like you are in the energy, in the vibration of abundance of legacy building type of energy of uh, regaining um, maybe a zest for life a love for life that you had lost or hadn't tapped into as of yet there's something that it feels like you've been alone for a while somewhat isolated figuring things out and your journey of being alone, you've garnered a great deal of wisdom. And it feels like it's time for you to share that wisdom. It feels like it's time for you to come out of that hermit mode, out of that isolation, and share what you've, uh, you've learned with others. Shine the light. And there's something about you sharing your wisdom that's leading to it or inviting in uh, love. Inviting in abundance and um, your dreams come coming true. It's very, it feels like there's all these clockwork 
and events are happening that are creating, setting things into action. It reminds me of like a marble run where you've seen someone's created this little run and it triggered, the marble hits this and it triggers, and then it goes here and it triggers it. Something is, is being triggered, a, a, a set of um, actions and it's about your luck. I don't feel that there's anything to do other than share your light, share your wisdom with others. It feels like I'm talking to somebody who's a, a way shower. I might be talking to somebody who used to be a Sherpa and is now a way shower. So a Sherpa carries everybody's burdens, carries the load so others don't have to. And it feels like you um, unburdened yourself. You're no longer a Sherpa, but you are a way shower. I'll show you the way. From my experience, what I've learned, I'll show the way, but you have to do it yourself. I'm not going to carry you. It feels like there's um, that distinction coming in. Very interesting. All right. The hidden blessing is the two of swords. Again, it's your challenge in this, but it's a blessing. Oh, wow. You are, your blessings are being veiled from you because you're very perceptive and intuitive it's like you you can see things before they happen or feel things or intuit things and this this unable to perceive what's coming it's like a, a big surprise a happy surprise it's wheel of fortune ten of pentacles this is amazing what's coming in is amazing and it feels like you're trying to open the presents before Christmas or your birthday. Uh, I remember looking at all those Christmas presents under the tree and my mom had really cheap wrapping paper. And so we could kind of see the box underneath, uh, my brother and I, by kind of pressing the paper. So we were trying to figure out what we got. We were so excited for Christmas, but we really wanted to see, but we really did, we knew that it was worth the wait, but so it kind of has this Christmas morning feel. Sorry if, if um, you don't celebrate Christmas, I'm sure you, you can understand like birthday, um, those type of excitement, something's coming down the line and it's a blessing that you can't see this. <clears throat> it's a blessing that you can't perceive this because it's worth the wait. It's Christmas morning. It's um, it's a celebration. Wow. Holy cow. There's nothing you need to do. You might be, it, there's no action that needs to be taken on your part. If anything, it's it's just enjoy, just go about your day. There's not like something you have to do to make this happen. The the luck, there's something about, it feels like it's happening not in your environment. There are moving parts that you do not see that are happening, things happening for you. <laughs> wow. You might be feeling a lot of hopeless energy coming up. Shame, hopelessness, despair. Feels like these energies, unprocessed, unprocessed, really intense emotions might be coming up so you can process them, so you can clear space for this beautiful energy that's coming in for your blessings to come in there's so it might be confusing because um, 
I'm feeling all sorts of unsettled. I'm feeling very overpowering, overwhelming emotions coming up. And I'm trying to figure out what's going on. There's a lot behind the scenes that you don't see that's happening um, for you. Wow. Wow. So it doesn't, it doesn't feel like what you imagined what blessings would feel like. There's some processing before this comes in. Wow. Okay. What you're leaving behind is the Page of Cups. Hmm. What do we need to know about the Page of Cups? This feels like um, you're leaving behind, yeah, uh, people who lack empathy or who are very shallow, immature people, people who don't aren't interested in maturing. And that's a okay. <clears throat> Boy, this is a lack of uh, maturity. Feels like you've matured. You're seeing, you're willing to see things in a very mature way. And so maybe you're also leaving behind uh, a version of you that um, was kind of stuck in arrested development emotionally. It looks like you're also leaving a lot of sadness, chronic, maybe depression. You're leaving behind um, sacrificing yourself for everyone else. You might be healing a wounded healer energy within you. A pleasy, being a pleaser. Feeling like you have to give to have value. You have to support everyone and give continually to be of value. So it feels like you're giving, you're letting go. You're leaving behind, sacrificing everything. You're leaving behind... Um, this bad boss energy. Uh, the emperor in reverse, someone very insecure, someone um, who doesn't have any confidence, any real strength, any real courage. And so they need to make everybody below that they perceive below them miserable. They don't help people up. They don't empower people. They dominate people. They do it under uh, a very subtle, this is someone very covert, very good at manipulating people, talking people out of their own best interest. It looks like you've really walked away from this energy. <clears throat> it feels like you're also leaving behind someone, the, this type of energy This feels so specific, and but you're leaving behind this energy of people bringing uh, a spark to you and then requiring you to make it into a fire, a bonfire, like someone who's not willing to really put the effort, the work into building something. Um, they expect you to. It looks like you're also leaving some delusions behind. Uh, unrequited romances, fantasies that you kind of, when you, at times it feels like in the past that you dissociated a lot. You were in very uncomfortable environments and so you kind of went dissociated, created a fantasy version, somewhere you can escape 
while physically being in an uncomfortable environment. And it feels like you're leaving behind delusions. You're seeing things very realistically. And it feels like your groundedness, you're willing to uh, co-create with truth, with the reality, is making the difference in your world. How to get the most of this energy is the nine of cups in reverse. Hmm. How to get the most of this energy being out of alignment. Someone who's out of alignment, someone whose nervous system is wrecked. Uh, someone's very out of alignment and they're nerve they're very nervous. They're unable to escape this. They're having to watch you being blessed and they're feeling left out. They're feeling abandoned. They don't want to be abandoned. This feels like someone from your past. Someone from your past. Someone is very much out of alignment someone who wanted you to be out of alignment it feels like if they're they're unable to get out of this um horrible place they're in a terrible place and they can't get out of it and from this horrible place that they've created for themselves they're having to watch you be blessed i'd be wary of this energy because you are in this inner on some level i think there are people or a person from your past who everyone can feel see perceive that you are in a very lucky space that people are uh, maybe people that took a pass on you are interested now that you're building abundance building something that's a legacy you have wisdom that you're sharing about your journey about what you've learned and this this energy feels entitled to you maybe because in the past they they got into your energy they gained access to you with this entitlement looks like you've ended this cycle and you've been focusing on your finances that's that's what's going on here um, this person wants all the money without doing any of the effort, any of the work. This person, this type of energy feels like they did everything to block you from being able to create this abundance for yourself, but somehow they feel entitled to it. They didn't help you build it. They didn't support you. They weren't supportive at all. They consciously try to block you from your abundance. They might have gotten others to abandon you and block you from receiving your abundance. Instead of acting in some way they thought you would, instead you were like, I'll take the L and I'll go elsewhere. And you've been putting in the time and the effort on what you're building. This Wheel of Fortune isn't like you just fell into it. You've worked for this Wheel of Fortune. You've taken your dissatisfaction from life, what you've learned, and you've turned that wheel. This person who's showing up is trying to avoid everything falling apart. It feels like their life is falling apart the delusions the illusions it's coming apart 
feels like that's what they wanted for you. They wanted you to collapse, implode, explode. And instead it feels like you just like, cool, I, I'll go elsewhere. I'm gonna build, I'm gonna focus on what I'm creating. Yeah, and now you're in this nine of pentacles energy, pre-empress, very fertile, very abundant, looking happy, looking beautiful, peaceful, joyful. It also doesn't go with what they've told others. You're disproving their lies. You're not acting like you were, they said you were going to. You've just been learning a new way of being, focusing on you. You're not even communicating with this energy. You've turned your back on them and you've moved forward. You're willing to put in the work. You're willing to start over and it's paid off and it's really paying off right now. It feels like um, jackpot, but this isn't like luck, lucky, you just happen, you've put the work in, you've put the effort, you've built something and it's paying off. And it feels like this person, um, for some of you, they want to come back in because now, now your wheel's up, they're, they're on the opposite side of the wheel. Feels like if you allow this person to come in, then your good luck will vanish. Your good luck, they're, they're toxic right now. They're bad luck. And so if you allow them back into your life, it just evens out. Like you, you don't get this luck. I have a feeling that you are finally realizing how powerful your energy is, how creative your energy is, how to focus your energy to create what you want. And it's all happening because you've decentered this person. Wow. All right, what's supporting you is the three of pentacles in reverse. What's supporting you is learning who not to work with. That there are people that aren't for you. They aren't at your level. They aren't at your maturity level. And just recognizing you don't have to separate and make them out to be a monster or bad. It's just like, oh, wow, we're we have different goals we're at different levels it's not a race it's not a competition but um i'm not gonna work with you it looks like by separating from those who don't work well with others that you are finding your happiness you couldn't take them with you i think you had to show yourself you can't do the heavy lifting. You can't, you might be a way shower, but not a Sherpa. It's not your job to drag people to happiness. They have to find that happiness within. Feels like you're, yeah, wow, 10 of cups. Four of wands, 10 of cups. As you've separated from those who don't, work well with others you're stepping right into this happily ever after type of energy four of wands ten of cups celebration happy home sometimes this is marriage and it feels like you're choosing to be happy i'm choosing happiness i'm choosing love i'm choosing to not allow what this person has done to, I'm not allowing what this person has done to me to define me. I define me. And I do not, the shame of what they've done, the burden of what they've done is on them, not me. I'm choosing to be happy. 
You have shown me who you are. Thank you. So I'm no longer working with you. I don't work with people who um, actively betray me. You can't come back from purposeful betrayal. So I'm going to find people who do celebrate me, who do love me, who do enjoy being with me. That's really beautiful. Feels like you're finding your community. Feels like going home. For some of you, you've never had that. Not a real home, not that real, that feeling. Being supported, being celebrated for who you are, not what you can do for them, but just because you're you. People valuing you, appreciating you, loving you. Feels very um, much more harmonious. Feels like being in an environment where you let your guard down and allow people to support you. Wouldn't that be something, huh? To comfort you. To uplift you. All right, what to be mindful of is the Ten of Wands in reverse. Someone's unloading. It's the end of a cycle, but someone, this kind of has that Sherpa energy. Someone who's been carrying a heavy burden, someone who's very burdened. Someone who's very burdened is unburdening themselves. They want to end a cycle. They're coming in very quickly. Someone with a lot of passion, like a lot of energy. They want to come in. They want to unburden themselves. Who is this? And what are they unburdening themselves over? Okay. Someone's coming in. Again, Wheel of Fortune showing up in your reading. I love how it's sandwiched in here. A lucky sandwich. <laughs> they're seeing your luck. Whoever this is, they're seeing your fortune. They're seeing that you are upright. You are, uh, things are flowing into your experience. They're strategizing and planning to come towards you. Boy. Um, they have a story to tell you about a king of pentacles in reverse and a queen of wands in reverse that were very unjust, unfair, unbalanced. So that's the queen. Let me put the cards down. So king of pentacles reversed and back turned. Queen of wands reversed, back turned, justice reversed. So there's this person is very burdened. Ooh, they feel so guilty, so shameful, and mad. Then they want, to, they, they're spilling the beans. And this is part of your Wheel of Fortune. Part of you being upright is that um, you taking control is, it's exposing this couple who created injustice for you. What's interesting is in this little message, you're showing up as the queen of pentacles with your back turned. That queen, of, the king of pentacles in reverse might have been your ex. Feels like you didn't know about this. Or you were unaware that you were being ganged up on by this couple. 
this unfair treatment. It feels like you just ignored it and focused on rebuilding, focused on what you would build next with the Eight of Pentacles, hard at work, mastering a skill, overcoming obstacles, moving on, moving, moving away. So this person uh, is coming in to unburden themselves about the story. Anything, anything more about who this is or what they're going to share, what the outcome is? They're telling you, it feels like you kind of already know the information, but it is validating to have someone address this. Someone, it's a story of you moving on, you starting over, you overcoming obstacles and becoming very strong and uh, perceiving who was really blocking you. It, it's a group. It's not just these two people. It's a group with three of cups in reverse. They, they got people to gang up on you. Why, what, what motivates this person? Why, why are they now coming out? font in reverse broken contract they were duped they were lied to there was a, a conscious agreement and it feels like maybe your ex in this scenario someone broke the contract and they're they're outraged they're really outraged For some of you, it feels like this is an unlikely partnership. It feels like, um, I don't know if you're going to partner with this person at all. It feels like you're going to listen. They're a bit unhinged. They're really upset. They've been lied to. They're, they want to, they want to come clean. Their anger is frustrating them because they acted against their character for a long time. And they were lied to and told that they would get some type of benefit from, from their, from whatever these activities are from, and they're unburdening, the, they're spilling the beans. Feels like this person's coming in, um, filling in a lot of gaps in your story to help you really understand um, who you were dealing with. It doesn't feel like you're in a wounded space around this. It feels like you know a lot of this, but it's very affirming. It doesn't feel like this wounds you at all, this added information. A, a couple might be like, whew, Okay, the reality, the depth of what you were in. And I feel like this relief, like you didn't even realize what a, uh, it was much more deceptive, much more toxic. You were much more isolated and alone than you even perceived. And so, um, yeah. The information is good information. Yeah, do with it what you will. I'm gonna go ahead and continue on with this message. Uh, so if you wanna continue, if this is resonating and you're like, I, then you can follow me over to Patreon. There's a link in the description box below. Extended reading, you click on the link, takes you right to the extended reading. 
And in the extended reading, we'll look at health, where your health is right now, relationships, creativity, new opportunities, and career and finance. So I'll see you over on Patreon. If not, have a great day.